can we talk about the weight? Because when you first appeared on telly, you were a big lad. There's no, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. there's no two ways about it. And, and there's an awful lot of talk about weight issues at the moment, which is a good thing. It's it, it's good that we talk about them. But I don't sense that you became very very overweight because you were unhappy or because you were comfort eating or anything like that. You just you just ate too much. Yeah, um, or drank. I like was I was my well? it was I yeah we shoot like I mean I was loving life I mean honestly I I I mean I don't I haven't drunk for seven years now it, oh, there, it is a problem and it is an issue sure. so it's that it's that hedonistic um, lifestyle of just ev uh, doing whatever you want all the time like I can't like you probably yeah. it's quite extreme everything feels quite. And it and it was always like that as well. And then that was the same around alcohol and food. And it probably wasn't food choices. No. Food choices were really bad, but they were governed by being the alcohol choice. The alcohol was first and foremost. That was everything. Like and everything I do is excess. So it's quite. It was all about quantity as well. It wasn't about enjoying you know single malt whiskeys. It was about right, pints of Negroni. Can I? How do I? <laughs> like it was everything about it was was very, very full on. But this would be at the end of service, would it, usually? Because yeah, oh, that, yeah. people drink, don't understand this. This is this is how hyper-adrenalised you are. So I, I don't think this is a parallel that's ever been drawn before. But I used to present Newsnight, and you'd get off air at half 11 at night, and you're on absolute cloud nine. You're in fifth gear. And, and the idea that you could suddenly relax or go to bed is ridiculous. So you'd pour yourself yeah. a drink at the time of night, which was bad for you on every conceivable level, but it felt in the moment as if you didn't really have any choice. Yeah, very, very much. It's the same. It's, it was exactly that. So I wouldn't drink until um, I wouldn't till drink, drink till after service. But no. I mean, every night I would then drink excessively and hugely, like masses, and and then get up very early and get on with like, like drink, you know, a pint of coffee in the morning with about eight Nurofen and get on with life, and then look forward to the look forward to the evening, get yes. through the other side, and it would be the same day in day out relentlessly, and then on a weekend or a day off i mean the 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 excessive behavior was ridiculous and but you're right it does come it's that release of energy and i, I look back at it and you right i look back at it quite sometimes quite fondly like mm. i miss that guy i miss the chaos i miss the almost world of destruction that i lived in because it was also about building the business so as you're building that business as you're relentlessly under pressure from uh, from just from a business point of view, anybody who runs a business feels pressure. But then, uh, the, those personal standards where we're pushing to achieve two mission stars, yes. and then you achieve two mission stars. So then, all of a sudden, you're under the spotlight. Now you've got to maintain it every service. So it suddenly becomes hugely pressurised. And even if you don't know it, I can only. It's only now that I look back at it yeah. and recognise the amount of pressure that is under. 